Reddit. You know it, right? Big chunks of the community are revolting against the administration because of some poor choices made. I gotta tell you, as an indie developer, I made a mistake. I used to run this website, extremetoaster.com. I've made big mistakes. This site was popular, especially among students. According to my Google Analytics, this site was most popular in the United States and the UK. There were sections on the website, history, science, math, art. These weren't strictly education. They were flash games hidden within what looked like an educational website. It was a flash game website. It was meant to be a sneaky way of playing games in school. That is what I designed it to be. That's what it was. If the website got blocked, no problem. I had like almost 10 domain names. So if one domain got blocked, the visitors could just use a different domain name. I purposely used bad search engine optimization to share these different domain names with the visitors. I did this by embedding the domain name in an animated GIF that I would only show once every three months or so. I had weekly updates on the site where I would promote the previous week's top scores on the popular game Free Rider 2. On the site, geography was dedicated to Free Rider 2 map sharing. The history section was user submitted comic strips and comic strips I had made myself. There's a website called Bitstrips where you can easily create your own comic strips. For a while, some of my brother's comic strips had thousands more views than any other comic on Bitstrip because I was hotlinking the comic image directly from bitstrips.com. In the weekly updates, I started doing voiceovers for the text content. Instead of reading, you could listen in. I made up characters like Principal Toast, who had this high-pitched cartoony voice, kind of like this. <laughs> Using that voice, I would record myself reading the weekly updates and post the audio to the main page. I started developing this story in this universe of Toast People and Extreme Toaster High School. I made some slideshow animations that are on YouTube now, featuring characters like Principal Toast and this Toast universe where the people are pieces of bread. It's like a rite of passage to get your topping. Some people got peanut butter, some got applesauce, some got jelly, marmite. The evil creatures in this universe were toasters, and some legendary toast people were able to tame these toasters. The mistake I made! I dropped the site. I stopped updating it, I stopped making sure it was online, and it just died. I revived the site one or two times, but with less passion every time. Finally, I let it really die, where going to the website was just a plain page not found. The server's not even running anymore. Why didn't I realize this at the time? Why is hindsight so 2020? I had a good thing going here. In its prime in like 2009 and 10, ad revenue was bringing in $200 a month. What did I do? I let it die. Why did I do that? If I had to pick something, I'd say it wasn't rewarding. I didn't have a close interaction with the visitors to know what they were thinking, to know what they wanted more of, to know what they didn't like. I had a comment section, but I don't think I really had a feel for the community. But this wasn't a community. It was kids trying to play games in school. <laughs> Makes me think, if I started it up again, would it even be popular anymore? Mobile gaming has really taken over since then, so I don't know if Flash games would even have an appeal anymore. If I Google Extreme Toaster, I see search results for my old site, and of course, they 404. It makes me sad, and it makes me want to start it up again. But I know it's not something that I could just throw out there. When it was making money, it was because I was putting my heart and soul into this. It was because I earned it. It was because it was useful in people's lives. I just hope I don't repeat that mistake. If I make something that catches on, I, w I really want to write it out. I really want to do my best <laughs> and maximize its potential. Hmm, got so many ideas. I have to turn some of them into products because that's what I like doing. I like it. That's all I can think of right now. One of the things that got me thinking of this, Jake, Jake has an apple tweeted me and he, he told me about the current Humble Bundle that's going on. It's all about game development stuff. I picked it up. There's some good programs in there. I'm especially excited about App Game Kit 2. I'm downloading it right now. Thanks Jake for tweeting me. That's it for now guys. Have a great day and be free.